Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be putting together and painting this awesome Venom statue from Malik's 3D Design. Let's get on the workshop and get to work on it. Okay, before we hit the workshop, I want to say thanks for waiting for the video. Uh, it has been a crazy semester for me between taking classes and teaching classes. <laughs> it's been nuts. So I'm going to work to get back to my usual once a week schedule. Uh, so I appreciate it. I've got a lot of projects in boxes ready to paint and a lot of things on the printer right now. So let's get right into it. Let's go ahead and work on this Venom statue. Alrighty, so here are all the pieces parts my little flourish and we're just going to give them a quick sanding uh this these are printed on the anacubic so they're really in really nice shape and there's a bit of a texture anyway to this model so i don't want to take too much off i'm using the fine sort of files to get in between his teeth not done with them yet after we've given them some thick coats of filler primer i'm just giving it a once over again with the sponge uh sander and some more of the of the little files and now we are gluing things up. I'm putting way too much glue as I always do, using the accelerant to keep everything held in place. And I tried printing this all in one piece and was not having a lot of luck, so that's why it's in pieces. Now we're gonna use a little Bondo uh, glazing compound to fill the cracks. And I've had to give it a couple different coats just because they were so thick. And then gave it a coat of the old, um, what's that stuff called? Black <laughs> spray paint. And then we're going to use some white and some red to do some details and then some uh, of a uh, glue gun for something a little special. Now, I am having a heck of a time, so I decided to paint it all white and then go in with the black. I've actually bought some uh, cheap, fine paintbrushes because the paintbrushes I have, if I'm going to do more figures, they are not cutting it. I've got like these two big ones and they're just not doing it. So... This, these new uh, cheapy, they were like $7, but they're really fine and they should do a pretty good job. And now I'm just gonna add some detail here to the tongue, some different color reds. Uh, a piece of the tongue actually broke off, so I need to uh, glue that back on later on and make it look all nice. Okay, now that he is done, it's time to start on the base. And uh, I love doing these bases because you could just sort of have fun with them and do whatever you want. Yes, this is a very silvery silver, but by the time we weather it, uh, it's going to look pretty beat up and uh, pretty grody. And since this is Venom and he's a violent sort of fella, I'm going to be sprinkling some blood on this scene and getting it really, really mangy looking. And again, just having fun. Like, what is this piece? Oh, maybe it's a brass pipe. What's this? I don't know. And uh, you can just have fun with these. I'm, I've got paint and I'm just sort of mixing these different colors, these different shades, and then giving a little bit of weathering as I go, uh, adding some rust to those pipes. You can see that this is brick, so we're painting some brick color on here. And basically just giving it the once over. Now, of course, I'm splattering some blood around. And now we'll do the big area here and we'll add some detail to create some shading uh, so that this uh, area has more definition. So there you can see I finished the base and I, what I'm doing is I'm sanding away with a pretty heavy duty rasp where I'm going to be gluing his feet so that it will sort of um, pick up uh, and hold on to that glue and not go moving all over the place. And here we go. We're putting him on here. Now, you might notice that his tongue is um, all weird looking. It's because I used the hot glue to look like drool, and then I splattered blood on him. And there'll be a little slideshow of some close-ups of his face so you can see that I thought I had hit record. I didn't, and that's why those are not in the video. But you can see the sort of drool-looking stuff hanging off his face, and that is just uh, from a hot glue gun. Now, we're gluing the figure on. Uh, I'm, of course, using the Royal Wii, or I, maybe I'm wearing a symbiote suit. I don't know. But uh, the accelerant holds it on there nice and tight, and there was a good base on this, Malik's uh, 3D design. This was a really fun one, uh, a quick one. Once I get those better brushes, I'm probably going to give this guy a once-over, and I'm just adding some more glue because why not add more glue? And there we go. Venom is all set. I should probably wait till this dries a little bit, but I'm going to go right ahead. Why not? <laughs> Pick it up 
uh, tilt it on the wrong angle so it won't so it'll break right off. And there he is. Cool looking base, a lot of blood splattered on him, some drool on the tongue, and that's Venom. Well, there you go. That was the Venom statue. I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, if I hit record on the uh, camera a few more times, you would have seen me do some of the details with the drool. Uh, that was just with a glue gun, sort of blooping it on there and letting it drizzle around. Uh, love uh, Venom, especially old school Venom. I remember picking up the first uh, Secret Wars that he was in. Uh, Spider-Man got him. And, of course, the McFarlane run with him in it. And uh, if you're into Venom now or if you're just getting into it and you want to learn a little bit more, uh, the new Spider-Man annual, the Amazing Spider-Man annual number one that came out a couple weeks ago is sort of Venom-centric from his voice when he first got on to Peter Parker. And it's really cool. So you can check that out. Uh, someone was asking me uh, on Twitter or something uh, what this was printed on. This was printed on the uh, Anacubic and it was also printed with ZL Tech filament, which is my go-to filament. It's the only stuff I use. You can use the link below to get 15% off your purchase. It's an affiliate link. You buy from there. Helps out the channel. Also, go to the shop and see anything else that you want to look at in the paints I used for this. Uh, <laughs> and check out Malik's design because it's really cool. The link's below as well. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. We're going to get back to a regular schedule as soon as possible. And I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. Uh, if you've seen it and you've got some thoughts, put them in the comments below. Like and subscribe and come on back and check out more videos later. Thanks. Bleh!